Now, here is a question for you. Why is Scarlet Witch in Doctor Strange 2? And here's another. Why is Doctor Strange 2 linked to WandaVision? Finally, why are we getting the multiverse introduced now when Spider-Man Far From Home has seemingly killed its importance to Phase 4 already? Well, what if I told you that Scarlet Witch's entire MCU arc has led us to this point, where she is the key to bringing mutants, the Fantastic Four, and all other manner of multiverse-dwelling characters into the main MCU timeline? What if her weaknesses will be tested once more, and this time, she can't control them? In theory, we can make an educated guess that in Doctor Strange 2, Nightmare will draw Scarlet Witch to the dream dimension by promising her a life with Vision. There, he will weaponize her to help him take over the multiverse, causing a catastrophic event that tears the multiverse open and is linked directly to WandaVision. But hey, let's talk about how we get there first. I am the parallel dimension dwelling Ash from that film theory, and this is the devastating truth of Scarlet Witch and Nightmare. While Mysterio's claims of being from another world in Spider-Man Far From Home didn't quite prove to be the catalyst for the MCU multiverse opening up as we all suspected, there is no doubting that it does still exist. For Endgame's time travel infused ending to work, ban the entire plot really, the multiverse has to be behind it. We've already had explicit nods to it in Thor The Dark World and Doctor Strange as well. It's just that, as far as we know right now, the gates to other alternate dimensions remain closed. After all, that is Doctor Strange's job as the Sorcerer Supreme, to maintain vigilance against threats to Earth from the multiverse, like Dormammu, for instance, or Loki. And that defense element is pretty key, because it could prove to be the driving force behind the plot of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. There can surely only be one reason Strange would leave his post on Earth and head into something as ominously titled as an actual Multiverse of Madness. And that would be a credible and immediate threat to the universe. Given the rumors of the debut of another Doctor Strange villain in the sequel who has very specific links to an interesting part of the multiverse, there may just be some clues as to what that threat might just be. Though he has not been officially announced as being involved, Scott Derrickson has spoken previously about the iconic Doctor Strange villain Nightmare and his desire to include him in his Strange sequel. Writer C. Robert Cargill all but confirmed his involvement too, but even without an overt confession from the creators, there is a pretty big signal that Nightmare is coming. It's right there in the title. The title of the film also hints heavily at Nightmare because of where he's from. Assuming we're going to see the same backstory for the supremely powerful being as the comics, Nightmare resides in the Dream Dimension, which sits alongside the Realm of Madness, hence the title, which is an important thing to talk about because it is very likely to be playing a key role for In the Multiverse of Madness. Nightmare draws his powers from the consciousness of other beings. As long as there are minds to dream, he will always exist. And he is able to draw astral projections of a dreaming target into his realm and torture them or use them to his heart's dark content. He's far weaker when he leaves his realm, however, but still aspires to take over Doctor Strange's dimension, taking over people's dreams to try and learn how to defeat him and leave the way unguarded. So what could Nightmare have planned? And why would Scarlet Witch be so important? Well, the first thing you have to consider is that Wanda, more so than any other MCU hero, will be haunted both by dreams and by nightmares. And crucially, her life has gone in such a way that she will no doubt be driven, and tormented even, by unquenchable, sorrowful desire. And what would Scarlet Witch want more than anything? What is a dream? Vision. What if Nightmare discovers Scarlet Witch in her dreams, tormenting her with what she wants in pretending to reward her, with the hope of weaponizing her against Doctor Strange to help him conquer Strange's universe? Given access to her subconscious, he could recognize something different in her, aka her unprecedented powers, and something very alluring about the nature of her abilities that might make her a valuable weapon to him. Here's how Kevin Feige described Scarlet Witch back in 2016, consciously foreshadowing the fact that, like Dormammu zealots and some sorcerers, including the Ancient One of course, she could draw power from other dimensions. And I quote, Her powers, she's never had any training. I'm talking about Scarlet Witch. She never had any training, she's figuring it out. Arguably, you could say that that's why her powers are much more chaotic and much more loose in the way that we showcase those light effects. In Doctor Strange, some of what you might see today, even the cover of Entertainment Weekly, it is much tighter. It's all about focus. It's all about pulling energies from other dimensions in an organized and purposeful fashion. Which is why they can do a lot more than she can in, at least, a much more precise way. 
we've already seen one villain use her to his own ends, but Ultron was too self-involved and too arrogant to even know what he had under his nose. He could have used Scarlet Witch as the weapon he wanted to destroy the Earth, and instead he just used her and her brother as glorified henchmen. Given Nightmare's relationship with the multiverse and the Dark Realms, count on him being much more acutely aware of her potential. And in order to turn her powers against the multiverse and make it his own, Nightmare would only have to tap into a mental condition to start to unravel her. If he was able to amplify those powers using the dark magic of the Realm of Madness, and there was precedent in Doctor Strange's first movie to suggest that other dimensions powers were greater, leading to the Ancient One's near immortality, he could be in a position to take over. All he needs is to take his chance of a way in. We really have to go back to what Wanda has been through at this point to understand why she'd still be a good target for Nightmare. When she was young, her parents were killed. She volunteered for experiments that killed countless other subjects. She saw her brother killed, accidentally committed mass murder, was betrayed by her friends and then had to kill her lover only to see him revived and killed again. If you think the end of Endgame left her just fine, you've not been paying enough attention. This all aligns with the comic version of the character. Her powers on the page come with a dreadful caveat, because they are too great for her to comprehend and she never earned them. In Avengers number 503, Doctor Strange said something of her that might well be the crux of her role in the Multiverse of Madness in this following quote. Can you understand the delicate mindset of a person who has control over reality? It means reality controls her. Imagination becomes the enemy. Structure disappears. In effect, Wanda was so powerful she could mold reality however she wanted to suit her. We don't know how much of that is true in the MCU just yet, but it could be that Nightmare recognizes that she could do that, given more access to the extra-dimensional powers she could draw from. And if he's able to convince her to make changes to reality that help him, say for the small cost of helping him destroy Strange or open some doors in the multiverse that would indirectly lead to that, then he could also offer her the tools to get everything she has ever wanted, which would be a life with vision, in other words. As we know from the comics, Wanda creating a reality that suits her own desires can lead to catastrophic events, which will presumably be what is driving Doctor Strange's story in the Multiverse of Madness. But that film is only part, because we've also been told that it and WandaVision are two parts of one story. They are inherently linked and there is a good reason why. WandaVision is just a dream. What we know of the Disney Plus show suggests we are in for a ride no MCU fan has quite experienced before. So what could be so different? Well, for a start, the show will blend traditional MCU storytelling with a 1950s sitcom vibe. The only image we have so far paints a picture of a sort of Stepford Wives' ideal world, similar to the dream life Harley Quinn dreamt for herself and the Joker in Suicide Squad. That is a pretty pertinent parallel to make, too, because in both cases, those worlds are projections of an unattainable ideal, a dream world. Fundamentally, WandaVision is going to take a lead from the comics. We're going to see inside Scarlet Witch's head to a world created out of emotional self-preservation that just doesn't exist. Famously, the comic version of the character changed reality to get rid of mutants when she perceived a threat to her and her family's well-being. She projected her existing instability into a safe and comforting world. So what if that's what she's doing again here? What if the 1950s world in which Vision is mostly human, she is his housewife and they live in a sitcom idyll is her mind using her powers to create a world she feels less destroyed in, her literal escape? Wanda should be a breaking point, and as the comics have already shown us, when she breaks, reality breaks with her. If she allows Nightmare to feed into her deepest desires of happiness and normalcy with Vision, who knows what sort of cost that will come with to the rest of the multiverse. There are two possibilities here, depending on when WandaVision happens. If it is released before Doctor Strange 2, these dreams will be what Nightmare uses to try and turn Wanda to his side. Or, if WandaVision comes after, it's because Nightmare has successfully used her and her dream world with Vision is his gift to her, a prison of everything she wants that she will have to escape through realizing it is not real during the Disney Plus show's run. It's probably more likely that it comes before, or at least it would be better that way, but it doesn't change the fact that the entire show is probably no more than a dream. Instead of her creating children for herself as she did in the comics, what if Wanda creates her idea of a perfect life and perfect marriage with Vision? What if Strange does what the Avengers did with her when they found out about the children being illusions, seeking to fix her and unwittingly causing the ground zero reality changing event that opens the multiverse irreparably and brings mutants, vampires and everything else into the MCU timeline? Instead of an apocalyptic event as in Avengers Disassembled, we could have a means for a new life, even if it came at a cost. 
the key part of this theory is that Nightmare could unwittingly turn Wanda into a weapon of unimaginable power even beyond his own reckoning. We've seen flashes of that, and the confirmation that she can harness power equal to an Infinity Stone. If she's encouraged to lose herself, she may lose control. That would fit with how many times we've been primed so far to consider her loss of control a very real threat to the MCU. And if she breaks reality, she could end up being the key to creating rifts between different realities as a whole themselves. Different branches of the multiverse that we already know exist thanks to Captain America's trips through time and space. And what if that's how we end up with vampires, mutants, Galactus, and the Fantastic Four all suddenly thrown into the existing timeline? What if, instead of no more mutants, Wanda's break with reality leads to their arrival? Wouldn't that be a hell of a way for Marvel to subvert an already iconic comic storyline in a way that actually serves the franchise's future expansion? In the Multiverse of Madness could show Wanda the reality that she desires, while Nightmare tries to use her to destroy Doctor Strange. While she will no doubt be turned back against Nightmare to thwart him, it wouldn't be before she has altered reality for him. That would allow her to then escape into the illusion world she created where she and Vision could live together. Ultimately, either way that would suggest that WandaVision will go from being a sitcom to a tragedy when Wanda realizes it is not real and has to choose to leave the dream behind. But wouldn't you say that makes that story sound an awful lot more appealing though? And that is what could be the devastating truth of Scarlet Witch and Nightmare. What do you think of this theory? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash and this has been That Film Theory. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you again soon for more hypothetical goodness. Thanks for watching.